Merry Christmas. We're glad to bring to you these gifts of the Christmas season from Connect Up Faith. We'll start with some music from Finding Our Way Home, our spiritual circle of improvisation that's led by Ike Sturm every month in New York City. Come, let us worship God. provides an oasis that gives us time and space to ask questions and explore creativity and spirituality through music and words in an online community. This whole month of December, I keep coming back to a verse from the Bible. My soul magnifies the Lord. These words come from the very first chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Mary says them, and she learns at that time that she will be the mother of a baby that will turn the world upside down, lifting up the people who are on the bottom, standing with the people in need, loving the people other people thought were unlovable. So here's a question I started asking myself, how can my soul magnify the Lord? Do you ever play with a magnifying glass when you were small? I remember having one that came in a game and we would take it outside and look in the grass and be amazed at what we could suddenly see. Little tiny bugs, invisible to the naked eye, having their own lives, their own story, unbeknownst to us. <clears throat> Whenever I think about my soul magnifying the Lord, I think about that glass and wonder how I could possibly magnify the Lord. After all, I believe the Lord is already much bigger than me, more present all around us all the time. But what I learned from my childhood game is that magnifying isn't really just about making things bigger. It's really about making things more visible. And that, that is something I can imagine. Can we be part of making the God of love visible? Can we reflect justice in this world that so needs to experience it? Can we show others the grace and forgiveness we all need? Can we let the story of Christmas remind us that we are loved at our core? We are worthy of the light breaking in and the love coming down, not because we've earned it with our perfection, but because it's a free gift that will be for us, calling us home to a relationship where we are known and seen forever. May we choose to turn the magnifying glass toward our hearts and show the love that was planted in us and wants to live in us always. As we embrace the gifts of Christmas, we invite you to listen to these sounds of creativity and healing from Chris Digman, who leads the Transformations Ministry. May the blessings of Christmas be with us all. Amen.